Today I'm going to be reviewing the extremely popular MakeBlock Robot Starter Kit. The Robot Starter Kit is currently available in three different forms, two versions with all the electronics you need to complete the robot. There is an IR version with all the electronics and a Bluetooth version with all the electronics. And last but not least, there's a version with no electronics where you can add your own Arduino. And that's a version I'm going to be looking at today. However, if you're looking to purchase either one of the other two, I will leave links to all three of these kits in the description below. So feel free to check that out. Now, the biggest difference between the kit with the electronics and the kit without the electronics is that with the kit that comes with the electronics, you get a make block version of the Arduino with a built-in motor driver, a sensor, and a couple of connectors. However, with the kit I'm looking at today, which only has the mechanical components, including the motor, you will need a motor driver and a Arduino or other similar microcontroller. Now, if you're looking to buy one of these, which you'll absolutely need to at least get the robot moving, I'll leave a link to a motor driver and an Arduino that'll work with this robot. So feel free to check that out and that'll be right below the video. As you can see here, the kit comes fully disassembled, so it will require a little bit of assembly. Now, before you start assembling your robot, it's essential to understand that the robot can be assembled in two different configurations. The first configuration, which I went with, which is the track or tank track configuration, and the tricycle wheeled configuration. Now, the robot will work well in either configuration, so it's really up to you as to which one you choose. I just chose the tank track configuration because it kind of looks cooler. Now, I won't take you through the entire assembly process step by step. However, I will say that it's actually a fairly easy kit to assemble. And the manual that's provided with it is actually pretty well laid out and it's very easy to understand and put stuff together. And they do provide all the tools you need to put this kit together. So you don't really need any additional tools. You have everything you need to get this set up. Now, here are a few things I noticed about the overall build quality and the performance. The main frame is made from these extruded aluminum tubes that bolt together. This is a far cry from the chintzy plastic frames that you find on beginner robot kits. Not only does this make the frame pretty rigid, the blue anodization also makes it look pretty good. And the bolt holes in the middle allow you to mount electronic components and sensors in the middle without any issues whatsoever. Just as I did, as you can see in this picture, I I also like the way that the motor's D-shaft mounts to the track sprocket using this little hub that has set screws built in. This allows to keep the sprocket well mounted to the shaft. The frame also uses this really clever idler design which allows you to keep the frame really compact while fitting in two metal planetary gear motors. Now if you do use the tank track configuration, I wouldn't recommend testing it on carpet. It does seem to have a mild issue with carpet. The track does have a tendency to slip off at times. So if you do use the tank track configuration, test it on a hard floor like a hardwood floor. So should you get the make block robot starter kit? If you're starting out in the world of robotics and don't want to spend too much money yet want something that'll last a while, you really can't get any better than the make block starter kits. Now, if you want a robot kit, that includes everything you need to get the robot going. You can get the complete robot starter kit. If you're like me and just want a reliable platform on which to build your first robot using your own microcontroller and your own motor driver, you can do that as well by buying the base kit. And I'll leave links to all versions of this kit right below the video, so feel free to check that out. If this video has been useful, please hit that like button and subscribe to stay tuned for more reviews and how-to videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time.